At the present time, there are so many therapies for Huntington, ALS, AIDS, and especially cancer. However, exact solution haven't found yet. Because the therapies which are in operation have serious side effects. Because of that, scientists looking for new therapeutics. The discovery of RNA interference mechanism and the introduction of small interfering RNAs have led to enormous progress in the field of gene therapy. The effective and specific gene silencing ability of siRNA molecules has made them valuable tools as potential therapeutic agents. However, clinical applications of siRNAs have been limited by several structural problems of siRNAs, including poor in vivo stability and cellular uptake. Various delivery systems have been developed and used to, pro to protect siRNA agents' degradation and carry it into the cell to dissolve efficiently. Although some delivery agents have shown successful results at both, both in vitro and in vivo applications, still the need for effective and safe delivery system is frequently reported. Most of the gene therapy studies use viral delivery systems due to their high efficiency. However, these systems are considered to be toxic and immunogenic, especially at repeated administrations. In contrast to viral carriers, non-viral delivery systems draw attention in terms of safer carriers. Among non-viral delivery systems, cationic polymers stand out as carriers for both siRNA and plasmid DNA. Cationic polymers can be produced easily and inexpensively and modify for various applications. They are capable of forming stable complexes with nucleic acids, easily via electrostatic interactions and show higher transfection efficiency when compared with other non-viral delivery systems. In this project, a new polymer AEAEMA was evaluated as a potential siRNA carrier. For this aim, Polymer were prepared via reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer polymerization. Corresponding amounts of polymers were added to siRNAs to obtain complexes. The electrostatic interactions between the positively charged amine groups of polymer and negatively charged phosphate groups of siRNA lead to the formation of complex. The toxicity of polyplex was investigated via NTTSA using human ovary cancer cell line scov look. In order to determine the transfection efficiency of the polymer, the optimization of the luciferase assay was performed. An anti-luciferase siRNA sequence was used to selectively inhibit the expression of luciferase gene. The complex was found non-toxic and moreover reduced the gene expression level.